Okay, we're gonna do a quick demonstration of the Crosscheck Cars program, or the Crosschecks Auto RDC program. Uh, this is the ideal uh, from Panini. It is the imager that we use. It is connected already to this PC. It is a very simple process. It goes into a USB port. They will go to our website, they'll log in. They will get their merchant number. We will use our test store number for this. A password is uh, also required. They will submit. At that point, they will get to our merchant support page. On that merchant support page, they will pick the finance department because that is where they're going to be doing the multiple check or future deposit feature. Once that shows up, they will have a choice at that point to do ready for deposit. That's a single check transaction or future deposit. This is the two to four check feature. We're going to do a future deposit transaction with two different checks for $500. So simply hit future deposit. Now the Panini scanner will initialize. Once it says run it through, we'll run check number one through. The image will show up on the screen, and you'll need to populate these fields. The first is enter the check amount. We're going to go $500. Then it's going to ask for the state code. The state code is the state that issues the driver's license. So we're going to use CA in this one. And then it says enter the ID number. The ID number is the remaining number on that driver's license. Then it will ask for a reference number. This is up to the merchant. If they want to put an invoice number here, they can put an invoice number, or they can put some kind of feature that uh, designates what transaction this is. But I'm going to go ahead and put it as if it is an invoice number, and then I'm going to scan the next check. So I hit scan next check. Again, the Panini will initialize. I'm OK to run the second check. I run the second check through. It will also show up on screen, but all I need to do at this point is enter the amount of this check. This check is also for $500. Now what I will need to do is calendar a date in which we want this second check to go to the bank. We took the first check, that goes in within the first three days, so that was today, the 5th. Let's just say this one was for two weeks later when that check writer gets paid, so we want to put this for the 19th. We will calendar that date as the 19th, and then we will hit submit batch because we want to go ahead and process both of these checks. At that point, it will take you to a new screen where we need to double check the numbers that we put in for the check amount. We need to put $500. Check number two was also $500. So we double check it there. We enter the 500 and then we hit approve all checks. It processes. We can print void on the checks right here through the uh, imager. This has been approved. I will take that down. At that point, we print out a receipt. Print the receipt to the printer. And if you can see here now, the receipt that is going to be given to the check writer shows exactly when the first check goes in, 9-5, that was today, for $500. The second check is scheduled to go in on 9-19 for $500. The customer signs this receipt. The merchant keeps their copy of the receipt. The transaction is completed. The merchant will be paid for both of these checks regardless of whether the funds are available. They are paid directly from Crosscheck into their account.